Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be giving you my top 10 favorite Disney Pixar films. This video is a part of a monthly collaboration called 10 for 12 hosted by Steve from The Lawn Gnome. Steve asked me to be a part of this month's collaboration and I'm glad that I could join him. If you haven't checked out his channel it will be linked in the description below. I'm going to start with 10 and count down to 1. Number 10 is Monsters Incorporated. I really loved this movie as a kid. Not so much as an adult because I haven't rewatched it in a long time, but I still do have those childhood memories associated with it. I really should rewatch it soon. Number nine is Brave. I love the Scottish culture in this movie. I love Merida with her beautiful, long, curly red hair. I really like this movie, but the only thing that I'm not too fond of is the whole concept of the bears. Like it should have been interesting for me but it kind of fell flat in my opinion. I wish there was more to the story. I kept waiting for more plot but it kind of just went downhill after the bears were introduced. I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't watched it. I do really like the movie though. Number eight is Ratatouille. I loved this movie when I was a little kid. I haven't rewatched this movie in a long time either so it's been a while since I've seen it. Just remember like when I think about this movie I think about Remy on top of the guy's head pulling his hair and making him cook. I love to cook and so that's probably the reason why I like this movie so much. I thought it was really cute. Number seven is Toy Story. I know, shocker, this movie isn't higher up on my list. I'm not a huge Toy Story fan and I know that blows people's minds. I enjoy the movies but I don't have that connection to the movies. I enjoyed them as a kid. I can enjoy them still as an adult. I'll watch it and enjoy it, but I won't just pick it up on my own and rewatch it. Number six is Finding Nemo. This one would be higher up on my list if I hadn't had to watch it probably a billion times when I was little. I grew up in a private Christian school and there weren't a whole lot of movies that we were allowed to watch in our free time. So our go-to movie that teachers always went to was Finding Nemo. I had to watch this movie so many times as a kid. So then I went through a phase where I hated this movie. I hated it so much and I went through several years refusing to watch it. I refused to watch Finding Dory when it came out because I still hated Finding Nemo that much because I had just watched it so many time it just lost its enjoyment for me but now it's been a few years since then and I can say although we've had our ups and downs and I've had my issues with it I still think this is a great movie number five is Incredibles 2 I watched this movie a couple months ago and I really really liked it I want to say I liked it more than the first one but that's not true I would like this movie better than the first if it weren't for the villain in this one I didn't find this villain storyline as interesting and it was very predictable I feel like kids are smart enough to figure out who the villain is in that movie before it's revealed. But regardless, it's still a good film and that's why it made it to number five. Number four is Coco. I recently watched this movie and I loved it. It's so cute. I learned about the Day of the Dead holiday when I was in high school, but I still didn't really understand it because I have no Hispanic heritage or really any unique cultural heritage. So this movie was very educational for me. It made me understand why people celebrate. Also the storyline is so cute and I'm a musician myself so I loved the musical aspects of this movie. It was very cute. And now we're getting up high on the list. It's the final countdown. Number three is Incredibles. I love superheroes. I love superpowers. I love any type of fantasy element really. I love the concept of the villain in this movie because he doesn't have physical superpowers but he uses his brain to become a supervillain and it just goes to show that intelligence and knowledge are superpowers in themselves. I also really love the family aspect in this. This movie depicts what a real family is like. You have your ups and downs, you have your fights, but at the end of the day you're still there for each other, you still love each other. And teenagers go through phases and they go through times where they don't really like their parents but then they grow out of it and they come to really appreciate what their parents do for them and who they are. And that's one of the things that makes this film so great. And number two is up. I love this movie so much. This movie made me bawl my eyes out. I was crying so hard the first time I watched this movie. I love the concepts of the balloons 
lifting up this house and carrying it across the world. I don't know his name, but I love the little chubby kid. Come on, this movie is genius. It's just genius. I love the talking dogs. I love everything about this movie. It's so cute. It's so fun. And it's emotional. It basically makes you feel every emotion that there is. And I just love the old man, young boy duo. Children can really spark elderly people back to life. When you're around a child who's just living life to the fullest with joy and excitement and smiles, it just lifts you up. It lifts your spirits up. It makes your heart happy. These characters have such great arcs. The plot is great, but the characters and their development in this movie is what makes the story so great. And number one is Cars. I will always love this movie. I watched this movie so many times when I was little. I loved it so much. Growing up, my dad and my brother always loved cars. And my brother and I always kind of liked racing. Surprisingly, we don't really care that much for NASCAR. And I say surprisingly because we grew up very close by to a national NASCAR super speedway. But my brother and I always enjoyed more of the off-road type stuff or street racing. Some of my favorite memories as a kid are playing video games with my brother on street race games. Anyway, all that's beside the point. I really like the racing elements in this movie. I love the character arcs. And this movie is hilarious. There are so many good jokes in this movie. And of course, I've always liked the romance. I love the scenery. And I know it's animated, but it's still beautiful. I love the concept of the old little town. This movie will probably always be one of my favorites. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I also love the music in this movie. All the elements, just everything comes together so nicely, and I just, I love this movie, okay? Which is why it's number one. All right, that is it for this video today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content by me. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Disney Pixar film is. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.